Hi, right, y'all. So welcome to Frozen Vibes. This is a new store that we just opened at 4657 Castor Avenue. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering how we got here because I got a lot of messages on Instagram and I told you guys I'm going to have a video ready for you guys. So you guys want to know how we got from this to this. Let me show you. <laughs> It's one of them days, man. About to head to the gym. All right, so this is one of them days. I'm about to head to the gym. Then then I got a jam pack there ahead of me. When I say jam pack, I mean jam pack. Um, we just got the keys and everything yesterday for the building. So after we leave the gym, we got a couple people coming. We have a contract there. We got an electrician. And we also, I think we got a plumber coming as well take a look at everything so we're just gonna go in take a quick pump figure everything out and start the day got the contract in here and we're now looking at everything that we gotta get done. So it's basically what I was explaining to y'all yesterday. We're gonna start from top to bottom. So the first thing we're doing is roofing. Uh, we're basically gonna do this exact texture, but we're gonna paint that in like matte black. Um, and then we gotta fill this gap right here to this hole, make it look a little cleaner. And then also in the bathroom, we're gonna build like a door right here. Uh, just to make this a little uh, cleaning closet so we can have like the buckets and stuff in here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, shit. Um, new sink, new toilet. Hold up, let me ask him because I don't know. You said this for a piece of wood. I bet. So, yeah, I mean, we clear. Uh, he said that uh, AC work. Okay. So I assume it just plugs into that. Yeah. And then once it plugs into that, it should be good. Should be good. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I want to change this lock. Well, I, I could do that shit myself. The lock and then uh, that's steel up. This shit, oh, we just gotta clean it up. This shit just look. Ugh. They change the locks itself. Uh, change, update the locks. Yeah. There we go, right there. Uh, when we paint though, I want, I want like, well, I want the paint to look. Before you paint, because I got a count with Sharon Williams. Just go there and get the paint. Get the paint. Uh, at a better price, better rate than better quality and a better rate. Yeah, that's no problem because I want that shit to look good. Like, like, good. Like, you see this shit? Like, that shit to me is disgusting, bro. <laughs> Trust me, I know. And then, like, yeah, that's it. And then we should be good for real, for real. Yo, bro, real quick, this window right here, right? All this white shit, what the fuck is that? Can that come out or no? Yeah. Well, no, because it came with the window. It's in the That's window. The style of the window. I'll take a measurement this week. Here, one window. Yeah, exactly. Out of each window. window. Yeah. I mean, if it don't come off, that's cool. We ain't worried about that. Because I'm going to tent them. All right, so the power washer guy just came. We got a quote on power washing and everything. Uh, now we're just ripping all the wires out for the contractor. Ah, like that. Nah, June 1st. Come on June 1st. June 1st. Uh, yeah, so now we're just gonna rip all the lights down from up there. Appreciate that. I'm just gonna put any number for now. That's cool. Uh, you guys have an Instagram so far? Yeah. All right, is it just this name? Ah, uh, yeah, Frozen Vibes, PHL. Okay. And then the, um, the number in the building. Yeah, 4657. Yeah, 
those two little things are free. So it is currently eight o'clock at night and we are back in the shop for a very simple treatment to be honest with you. Um, we are about to do this uh, bomb. Uh, it's a bed bug and flea. Uh, to my knowledge, this bitch don't got bed bugs. But what Eddie told me is that if it got anything in here, this is the spray we need to get it all out. So, um, yeah, we're about to hit it. I don't know. Just coming in here, I feel a little crony. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So, we're gonna set two of them off. I'm about to patch this back and go over real quick. Um, I'm gonna let this one on first. So, where are you putting? I'm putting this right there in front of that door. Okay. And I'm putting that right there in, that, uh, in the middle of that motherfucker right there. Okay, so you'd have to hurry okay, up so, and do it. So, we're gonna put this. Don't you have to shake it. So we're gonna put this right there. That's it, that's all, ladies and gents. Today, basically, they started a power washing. Uh, it's gonna take, take a couple days, but uh, what I was thinking was for them to do this entire square patch first because the front of the building and then go little by little outwards. Um, but I guess they're doing it in random spurts or maybe they're doing the cracks. Cause if you take a look over here, this crack is actually done entirely clean. So it's right here, it's cleaned out. <clears throat> right here is cleaned out as well. Uh, this crack and over there. So I guess they're just going little by little to clean everything up and then they're gonna hit the dark spots and stuff. Uh, but they took out a lot of weeds. Like if y'all see the weeds right here, there was a bunch of weeds going around the property and they cleaned all that out. So I'm actually excited for that. See right here, there's a little patch that they were working on. And down here, they actually started cleaning everything out. We actually just went over the entire starting cost or the startup cost for the business. Um, I know a lot of people don't usually show you guys this, but I'm gonna be the one to show you. So our startup budget is $22,000. In our situation, this is strictly just for us. You know, every situation is a little bit different, um, but this is just our particular situation that we are in currently. So over here, we got all the documents. Actually, let me move this one spot over so it's easier to see. So we got all the documents that's needed to start up the business. So if you take a look right there, uh, up top, you got the LLC, the commercial occupants, I mean, the commercial activity license, the occupants license, the safe serve for all employees that's inside the store. And then we also got to switch out our water meter and also all the piping that goes through the water meter through the uh, through the city. That's $250. So if we calculate all this up, we're looking at $1,050 just on back end paperwork uh, stuff. Then we go to equipment. So looking at the POS, the supplies for inside the store, um, equipments for inside the store. So a hot dog roller, pretzel, warmer, uh, the cash safe, uh, freezer, a standing fridge, the router, mailbox, door locks, camera system, all the keys that needed to be cut for the uh, uh, building. And then we also bought some locks, some new locks for the doors on the building and the bug spray. With all that calculated just on equipment and supplies, we're looking at $4,489. Now over here, uh, we have the main things that we're looking at. So we got we got the entire property pressure wash, which was $1,500. We had the contractor labor, which is $2,125. The materials for the, con uh, for the construction, that's $1,316. The signs for the whole property, that cost us the most. Oh my God. That was $5,000. That's the sign that goes above the building and also for a square box. That was $5,000. The equipment, which is what we just did over here, um, that came in at $4,489, like I said. Miscellaneous stuff is like the water ice, the pretzels, um, the soda, all the stuff that we get in. Basically, the merchandise that we will be selling uh, is we calculate that to be $2,000. Uh, the rent to get started in the property was $4,500. It was first, last, and deposit, and it's $1,500 a month. Um, then we have the business services, which is what we did over here, um, and that totaled up to $2,198. Now, that's the cost for us to start up. You know, everybody's situation is a little bit different. We did this because most of our capital is coming out of pocket and on credit cards. Uh, we're not getting a loan. There's no big bank banking us there's no 
investor it is none of that it's all out of pocket uh capital that we're working with so we had to do this to see what we're working with how much we had to dip into our savings and also if we didn't have enough where we're going to get the uh, miscellaneous funds from um tomorrow is another long day all right so today is day three we have everybody out here Water company here, everybody here. Moving at this point. Ah, water company here, power wash guys are still here again. Oh, well, they back again. Last night we set off these bombs. It don't smell like anything in here. So I don't know if it really did anything. We got everybody on the lot still. Still moving, grooving. Um, and here is a mess, bro. There was water everywhere. Um, but we gotta bomb it out a couple more times. We also gotta get some trash cans in here to take the trash out. I spoke to the graffiti guy and he's asked me for size and dimension. I don't have no ruler, uh, so I don't know what to measure, but I know I'm 5'11". So if I do this, that's about 5'11", or six feet, give or take. So, right, if I do this, that could be like five, five, five to six feet. So. We're gonna do like a six by four. We're gonna do like a six by four jar. <laughs> Fuck, man. This shit is hard as shit. Apple, they're fucking amazing. Look. So if y'all go to your iPhones, I know y'all probably can't see that. <clears throat> it says measure right there. So we're just gonna measure the wall. That's it, that's all. That's it. <clears throat> so Y'all take a look right here. It's six feet by three feet. I feel like that should be good enough on both sides. And I'm also gonna take a picture for the guy as well. So this is now day three on the project. Um, so after this, well, today we got a pack day like y'all saw. What are people saying? Matter of fact, let's get in the truck. It's mad windy. Uh, as y'all saw, uh, the water company came out. Uh, after the water company came out, uh, the power washing team is still here. The crew is still here doing their thing. And we also had uh, Jay pull up uh, because he's gonna be our guy to pick up all of our supplies. So basically our delivery guy. So we had to talk to him real quick about some numbers. Um, but again, uh, I had to measure the wall because I'm about to call the graffiti guy and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call with you guys there so you guys can get an understanding of it. But basically I wanna get a mural on both sides of the wall. Um, and yeah, nah, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, it's not a seal at all. All right, so we just left uh, Restaurant Depot slash Jekko. Um, we had to go down there in order to uh, get our cards remade and reprinted because they had the wrong name on it. Um, and then also, we are now going to go get something to eat. We're taking a quick little lunch break just to gather our thoughts and calm down because there's a lot going on. We had a conversation with the Clover guy, and he actually did send us over a couple of things as well for us to look at. So let me show you guys what he has sent over. So he sent over uh, a couple of examples of what systems we need. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 